to be on TV. Nearly 10,000 children have spent time at Kapu Kaizu in the more than 35 years since it was founded to help children and families living with cancer. I had acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I had a Wilms tumor in my kidney. I had non-Hodgkin's Burkitt's lymphoma. The Kapokaizu founders include John Bell and Dr. Mike Amelon, who's a bone marrow transplant specialist, and the late Dr. Art Ablin, who passed away in August 2017. You can see his name and his wife's name enshrined on a plaque in the lodge where the kids eat lunch. Dr. Art was a pioneer in the treatment of childhood cancer, working at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital. He volunteered at Campo Kaizu since 1981. He's not only saved a lot of these kids from the disease, but also helped get them through the program and been part of it all that time. Here, kids can just be kids, having a good time, not thinking about their illness. But the trauma they endure from cancer and the treatments affects them drastically, physically and mentally. I had brain cancer and the tumor grew in my optic nerve, the thing that connects to your eye to your brain. And so they had to cut the optic nerve out to get the tumor out. We first met Isaac a couple of years ago. Sadly, then and now, he's been the target of cruel comments when he's not at camp. Do you get bullied at all when you're not here? We all do. Everybody here did at least once. And if they didn't, they're lucky. I think all of them during the time that they're on active treatment, if they have no hair or they gain a lot of weight from the prednisone or they lose a lot of weight because they're throwing up with their chemotherapy, they look different. And so during the active treatment part, probably most of them get bullied. Campers here learn quickly that this is a safe place. The real core value of what we do was expressed very eloquently by a, a dad of a family that had been participating in the program for several years. And the way he put it was, we go to the hospital to get rid of the cancer, and we come to Okaizu to heal. Girlies! Young people can not only heal, they can thrive and learn leadership skills. I'll be a teacher and getting my master's as well, and then so I'll be teaching, and then I'll have summers off to come back. We first met Flyer when she was a young dishy, washing dishes after meals at Camp Okaizu in her quest to become a junior counselor. Now she's a camp counselor. I had infant leukemia, which I don't remember a lot of, but I also had thyroid cancer in high school, and I was able to share those experiences with the kids, and one of the kids was like, you had cancer? And it's really nice to connect on those levels. There you go, my dear. A lot of parents are concerned about sending their kids to camp for the first time because they've been through so much, but they don't need to worry because there are doctors and nurses on duty right here 24-7. Stick your tongue out. It brought me back to why I went into medicine to begin with, why I went into pediatric oncology. I get more out of it than I contribute. I just love being up here. You see children from all different types of backgrounds. In the clinic and in the hospital, they're very reserved, and then here, they're just like normal kids. Paper, scissors, shoot. What do you think about Campo Kaisu? I think that it's like fun and everybody is kind of like a big family because we all know what e each other's been through. I think Kaisu is a really fun place where no one judges you. Everyone has fun together and you all can just do whatever you want to do without feeling like you're different. I think Okaizu is a really good place for those who have had a bit of sadness in their life. It's amazing and everybody here is super caring and kind. Cheryl Jennings, ABC 7 News.